So I'm having a chat with Craig. Eddie, how are you? Um, very good, sir. How are you? Good. Yeah, not too bad. Thanks very much. So first things first, the reason we're having this little chat is because you've got a new single out. It's called The Outside. What can you tell us about the single? So this is a song I wrote a little while ago, and it's about like my sort of mental health struggles, about you know like anxiety, depression, and depersonalization. And it's it's a really important song to me because I feel as if it's a uh, it's almost like opening the book and letting everyone read it, but at the same time, you know, I'm, I'm closing that chapter of my life. So it's 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 a really important song to me. Good, excellent. And uh, speaking of chapters of your life, the chapter has changed since winning the Voice uh, earlier this year. Yeah, it's definitely um, it's definitely took the turn for the best because. Uh, to be honest, I'm still in shock. I'm st- I still have those little epiphany moments where I, I do realise that I like I did I did win the voice and stuff, and I was you know in the in the charts and everything. It's just it is really it's almost like it's hard to believe sometimes. But right now, like since the voice, I've really just been focusing on writing and producing mm-hmm. and trying to perfect my craft and trying to find my sound again. And yeah, I'm, I'm just taking this time to sort of do a lot of self reflection and and provide the best music possible. Yeah, definitely. And you've been fairly open in regards to your mental health and your experiences of anxiety and, and things like that. How how did you cope with being on The Voice and, and how much did they help? Uh, the, the Voice, Anne-Marie and the producers helped so much because there was a few times where I was getting like a lot because you do deal with a lot of pressure. And, you know, any time I was feeling like that, there was, I never even needed to ask the producers, you know, there was a few times um, where they took me to the side and they sat and spoke spoke to me and they, they really talked sense into me. And then with Anne-Marie as well, you know, it was getting a little bit too much for me and I was, she gave me the advice that, you know, I'm doing what I love. So just mm-hmm. sit back, just take everything in and just, just go with the flow and just, you know, enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah, most definitely. Now, as this is your your second release since signing to to Universal, are we now gearing up to a, a to a maybe a bigger body of work? I would hope so. I've got about six or seven songs fully recorded and ready to go, and mm-hmm. over I've, I've still got over thirty or or so songs that I've written that are just ready to be produced and stuff. So I'm, I'm just hoping to sort of pitch maybe like 40 or 50 songs to the record label and then mm. we can pick 12 from there and we can see what happens. Yeah, excellent. And uh, obviously over the last 18 months or so, we've been in the middle of a, a pandemic. Uh, how has that affected maybe what you might have had planned for last year and, and this? I think that's been the most frustrating part because primarily the the two things I do music for is the creative process and the live performance. So mm. it has been so frustrating. Just I like just really wanting to get out there and do the performing. But I've got two gigs coming up: one in King Tuts in Glasgow and a, a local festival which has got three thousand five hundred people at it, which is definitely a a big step up from one hundred and fifty, which is the most mm. I've actually played to. Yeah, I, I mean, after all this time not being able to perform live, I bet you can't be, can't wait to be back out on that stage again. Oh, it's going to be amazing. I, I'm actually, funnily enough, I'm more nervous for the festival and the gig than I was the, the <laughs> final of The Voice, singing for 5.5 million. It's mm. just, it's, I, I don't know. I think it's just the fact that you can see everyone's faces and you can see their live reaction. So it's like, if I hit a bum note, you know, the audience will let me know. I'll, I'll see their face screw up and they'll they'll cringe. So I think that's the that's the daunting part. But I'm I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, because I mean, you 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 probably didn't see any audience at all in in the voice at all due to the pandemic. Yeah, that that was a uh, that was definitely an experience. <laughs> yeah. So obviously, off off the back of that, are you still in touch with anybody from the show? Have you, have you spoken to maybe Anne Marie since? Yeah, on and off. That's that's the mad part as well as the fact that, you know, I'm now verified on Instagram and stuff. So anytime <laughs> I do message any celebrities, it goes right to the top of the DM list. So that's 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 maybe some 
maybe it's any time I'm drinking, I should maybe give my phone to my friends just to, to save any embarrassment or any explaining in the morning. But, yeah, it's, it is crazy. I do, like with the coaches, you know, there is like the occasional little message here and there just checking up. So it's cool. Yeah, fantastic. Well, uh, Craig, it's been great having a chat with you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for having me on.